Hello everyone, what's happening? How's it going? It's Friday, uh, so the US guys, we, we had to be in the office today uh, while all our colleagues are off for the weekend, but it's been a good day and uh, it's always awesome to hang out with you all and stream. It's my favorite part of the job. Love hanging out and chatting with you all and having a good time. So yeah, we're uh, going to do some FSL open lobbies here in just a bit. I'm going to give everyone more time to show up. I know a couple of our regulars for these are not going to be making it tonight due to the Good Friday holiday, um, which is all good. I hope you guys are going to have a fantastic weekend with your family if you're celebrating it. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll have some scrims going. Right now we have two people in the waiting lobby, um, so not a whole lot in there yet, but... Um, we're just getting started, so hopefully we'll be good to go here shortly. Uh, okay, bot is misbehaving already. Great start. Gotta like when the bot misbehaves. Thanks everyone for the hellos and the good wishes for the holiday, same to you. Give me a second here. What's up, Baro Matza? How you doing, Matza? Good to see you. Okay. Uh, you North American guys, you're slacking today. We've got guys who, uh, you know, are here in the wee hours of the morning in the waiting lobby at the moment. We've got Weatherman, we've got Matza. They're waiting, ready to play. Uh, we might have to have a one-on-one -on -one FSL contest here at this start of the stream. Let's see how that goes. Uh, okay. Oh, now there's more people. There we go. We've got Maxinator and Newbie back in there. We're getting there. I know two of the SGA guys were going to be uh, missing today because of the holiday. There's NBC. What's up, NBC? I just had uh, dinner myself. Uh, I have to try to eat before these streams. Last week, I didn't have the chance because I was recording a super secret uh, project that we did with another company that will hopefully be coming out at the end of May. Um, so I don't know what's going on with the bot. Maybe the bot's not in chat, um, but nonetheless, there we go. There's the information if you want to join us. You need FS19 on PC to play. That's really the only condition. Um, and then you've got to download the DLC. You've got to join our server. And uh, I'm going to be right back because I might have to play. And I forgot my controller. Be right back. Oh, now we're looking good. LSA is in the waiting lobby. We've got some Trelleborg folks in the waiting lobby. All right. It's looking good. I'm going to skip the news because we've got enough people that we need to get into these games like right away. So if you're curious what the latest news is for Farming Simulator 22, I would encourage you to go to our blog. There's a couple of things... Um, about the new Precision Farming DLC and, and also the fact sheets for the free content update. So patch 1.4, free content update number four and Precision Farming DLC, which is a free DLC, all come out uh, if all things go well on Tuesday. It looks like that's gonna be the case. So lots of awesome stuff to look forward to on Tuesday for Farm Sim 22. So go check out the website if you're curious about that. But for now, we're gonna skip that. I'm not even gonna show you guys. We have all kinds of people in chat. We've got Donner Kyle back in the house. So uh, I'm gonna join these guys in waiting lobby. Let's get this audio on here. Hello, everyone. Oh, there we go. Hello, everyone. Hello. How's Hello. it going? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> morning. <laughs> hey, Kyle. Technically. <laughs> Uh, how's Literally. everyone doing? Hello. Yeah, there. Here. Donner Kyle, you feeling all right? Things going well yeah. for you? Good, good. All right. Um, well, I know that Matza and Weatherman were here first. Um, and then the rest of you, I think, pretty much, I think Maxinator and Newbie were next. And then everyone else seemed like they came in at the same time. Um, so let's figure out these teams for the first game and we'll, uh, we'll get started. 
Uh, JK and Beatmaster, do you guys have a third in here from Trelleborg? Or is it just you two? Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Okay, okay. So, Only uh, let's put you two, um, let's do this. Let's do Matza, Weatherman, and Maxinator. Uh, newbie, okay. are you still there? Yes, I am here. Okay, cool. So, Matzo Weatherman, Maxinator. Uh, you guys will be blue team. I'll drag you in there. And then Beatmaster, JK, and Newbie, you guys will be red team. I'll drag you all in there. Yay. All right. Uh, the rest of you will get you in the next one. Donner Kyle, do you want to join me in uh, the commentary chat? Sure. NBC, you as well? Sure, thank you. All right, cool. Oh, oh! Oh! Uh, <laughs> can, can you move me? There you go. <laughs> He's back now. All right, all right. Uh, I need to get in there quick and observe. Uh, also need to... There we go. Oh, hold on. What's happened to the game? Yeah, I gotta watch from the stream because I don't have the game up yet. live like live right here we're just like getting rid of nameplates and stuff like you know that's how we roll uh just like these are practices for fsl these are casual streams for me too <laughs> long as we have fun that's all that matters oh wait does everyone know the server info um let's see most of them should know I just uh, DM'd Beatmaster. Matza should already know. He was here last week. Yeah, so uh, Donner Kyle, NBC, you guys doing all right? Oh, yes, very well. I'm glad it's Friday. I hear you on that, man. At least, at least we have a uh, holiday today, so. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, but you know what? It's hard to be too upset when you get to work with the farm sim community. <laughs> so, right. yeah, you know, there could be worse uh, jobs. I don't want to complain too much uh, because I, I am blessed. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. I'll trade with you. Right. <laughs> I bet you would, NBC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, hopefully Matza can get Weatherman and... Uh, Maxinator the server info and get them in. We're just waiting on those two. What's up, everybody in chat? What's up, Hendrick? What's up, Alex? What's up, Camo? Uh, what's up, Spencer? How you doing? Um, yeah. Tony, what's up, buddy? All kinds of awesome people in here. All right, now we're just waiting on Weatherman, who hopefully is, hasn't fallen asleep. So Weatherman sent me a DM, early, DM earlier and was trying to clarify the time for his time zone and then said well if i'm still awake i'll be there i was like okay well if i don't see you then have a good weekend but he's here so now we just need to get him in it's awesome uh, billy can i have your t-shirt please so i was just went out to grab some food before the stream and walking past a red light to get to the restaurant and this guy in like an advanced auto parts truck screams out Dude, I love your t-shirt. Or I think it was, I love your t-shirt, dude. Uh, but and I just looked at him and was like, hey, thanks. And gave him a thumbs up uh, on an alpaca. Weatherman. Uh, I'm going to DM Weatherman. Make sure he's good. He didn't fall asleep like you said. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, Jay, if you're in the stream, the answer to your question on Discord is no. Waiting for acceptance. That's weird. Shouldn't require that. Oh, there, he, there we go. Yeah, we're good to go now. And hopefully, unlike last week, we have game sound. 
Yes, we do. I hear it at least. Yeah, there we go. The FSL is just not the same without the sounds. That's no, true. it's not. And to be honest, if you use uh, audio clues or audio cues, it's it's a help. Yeah, it's a massive help, isn't it, guys? Like, um, actually, I think Donner, you were the first one that like started to point those things out to us last year when we were doing the scrims. Like, um, the little bit about yeah. like listening to the change in the sound of the baler, and you kind of know yep. at that point that you've got one press. It's especially handy when you're doing like the first bail. So, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The drops too. If it wasn't for the noise. I'd never even know what time it was. <laughs> right. Yeah, you get you get so lost that like um, even like the eighth minute drop like sneaks up on you and feels like it was like 30 seconds that the game has oh, yeah. been going on, you know, and you're like, wait, I didn't even see the 12 minute drops and we're already getting the eight minute ones. Like, what the heck's yep. going on here? Uh, oh, uh, there you go, Donner. Thank you. OK, you're welcome. So um, I also need to uh, reset up my stream deck to have all the like uh, hotkeys for observer mode. But for now, we're just going to, you know, it's not that difficult to use the keyboard. We'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> well, we'll be maybe fine. if someone hadn't uninstalled 19. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> hey, I was being optimistic, okay? I know you were. I know you were. I still have uh, mine set up on stream deck. Um, and so now the thing is, too, is... Um, we're looking at maybe switching to using vmix for the like fsl broadcast and some of our other streams instead of using obs um, oh, okay so that'll require like a different type of setup as well you know so oh. um nice we'll oh, see Lord. how that goes okay so we've got uh under pressure and runner perk uh for the left side team the blue team oh, i almost said trelleborg ha uh, two-thirds of trelleborg um, we've got Matza with the runner perk, the John Deere 6120M, Weatherman with Archimedes, and the Massey 7726, Maxinator with Under Pressure, and the Case IH. Um, so, care rail tractors for the red team, uh, not so much the case for the blue team. But we have uh, similar perks, slightly different uh, tractors for two of the players on each team. We've got bottleneck selected by the red team, so that'll raise the two innermost bridges for the blue team for the entire match. The blue team has gone with herbicide. They've reserved the ideal combine, and so have the red team. The red team have also reserved the New Holland Baylor as well, and both teams have used their points wisely here. So we've got uh, some pretty experienced players uh, on each team, and then I think Newbie and Maxinator... Uh, I think newbie is pretty new. Uh, I think Maxinator maybe too. Correct me if I'm wrong if you're listening, Maxinator. Um, but yeah, we've got a good mix here for the first game. What's up, 1050 Vario and Twitch chat? How you doing? We're live on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube tonight. So if you're confused uh, who I'm talking to or about, uh, don't worry. I promise uh, it'll all make sense. I'll try to say this person on Twitch and etc. All right, so Beatmaster wasting no time. The blue team now has double ideal combines. Let's keep moving around. So JK has the uh, case baler. Newbie and Beatmaster both in the ideals. Newbie's gonna go to the far side field. Let's check out the red team. There's Matzo with the Massey combine. Weatherman just hopped out of the Russell mash and he's going for the ideal. Okay. Oh, wrong team. And then we've got Maxinator right away uh, setting out, trying to get that first bail, following quick, closely behind Matza. Uh, and with this setup, can cut through the grain. Let's have a look at the barn. We need to uh, switch over to the red barn. Where are you, Maxinator? Sneaking in under the camera. So Maxinator just about to get that first bail in. Oh, hitting the door, though. That's going to cause some problems. Uh, let's go have a look. JK as well missing out. So the red team on 125. JK driving over the bail. And uh, unorthodox delivering of the first bail. He used like, the side of the baler to just kind of shove it in there. Oh, okay. Maxinator was with Pertinger last season. You're right. I just couldn't uh, remember the name. So apologies, Maxinator.
do Giants workers play Farm Sim 08? We are so busy making the game, we have hardly any time to play Farm Sim 22. I can't, again, I can't complain, but I do play Farming Simulator less since I got hired by Giants than I did before. But that's just because I have a lot less free time now. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, it's just like when I worked at GameStop and people were like, oh, you get to play games all day? No, it's a retail job. It is not that fun. It's not that glamorous, I promise you. It's the same at Giants. Like, we don't get to play Farm Sim all day, I promise you. True, true. That would be, like, too good of a job. Like, why would you pay me to do that? <laughs> yeah. But I do get to do stuff like this occasionally and, you know, lots of awesome streams and such. I'm doing well, Killer Rock, on YouTube. How you doing? Uh, so, Dean Rosa, go to fsl-giants, or fsl.giants-software.com. Register an account there on the FSL website. Once you do that, you'll be able to log into your account. You'll get three keys, one for you, two for your potential teammates. If you don't have teammates, don't worry about that. That's what these open lobby scrim streams are for. Um, and then you download it. it. It acts like a DLC. It's completely free. You just need FS19 on PC. All right, our 12-minute drops are Crazy Tool and Speed Limit. So Crazy Tool allows you to press bales for a lower amount of straw. Speed Limit will slow your opponents down. Uh, Donner Kyle, I know that you've, uh, you've been busy with work and other things, but have you had a, a lot of uh, chances to play the beta so far? A little bit not as much as i kind of wanted to but right well what are your initial thoughts so far what are you thinking seems about the same not really much right. different other than the like, uh, combines are basically from formula one cars you know? <laughs> right transport company's gone um yeah, i think the too. drop the drops have moved like more into the middle of the map which is nice but you don't which have those like from last year but yeah so yeah you don't have those like really far ones um, uh, speaking of drops, JK just missing out by a couple of seconds of grabbing uh, the drop for the blue team. So the red team had a little bit of time with Crazy Tool. We're even at five bales apiece. Now the red team has one extra at six to five. Five point lead for the red team. Still early days. Um, but yeah, looking good. Thanks for the sub on YouTube, Killer Rock. Is FSL coming to FS22? Cross your fingers. Uh, put up positive vibes into the universe, whatever you need to do. Let's hope uh, that next season it will be. We wanted it to be for this season, but it just wasn't meant to be. We uh, we just ran out of time to get it ready. Uh, lack of manpower as well. We lost a few people in the company. Um, so had to just you know do what we could to get the season going. So let's hope because it would be massive for the future of the FSL for sure if we could get it on FS22 just with the capabilities that 22 has compared to 19, um, it could do a lot for the growth of the league. So I'm hopeful that next season it will be. Uh, our feedback website is the place to uh, report bugs. I think the link is feedback.giants-software.com, but you could also Google like Giant Software Bug Tracker. You'll probably find it that way. Uh, but yeah, that's the place that'll go directly to our QA team. They'll see it. They'll prioritize it. They'll see if there's any other ones that have been reported for the same issue, see if they can duplicate it. Um, and then if so, they'll uh, work on fixing it. Thank you, Tornado. See, that's what I got my awesome mods here for. Um, Tornado is the usual night shift uh, hero for our mod team. So glad you're here, Tornado. I saw Jay and uh, Hendrick in here earlier. So I think uh, we also have Leif on YouTube lurking about. Thank you to all the moderators for all your help. Here comes Beatmaster in with a couple of bales. Looks like he's going to go ahead and try to score these. Got a few stacked. Uh, looks like Weatherman's in the far uh, distance. I think he's running a combine. Matza and a tractor. Maxinator is heading to the red team silo to deliver some grain. Um, yeah, we're looking good. Hmm. 30 seconds away from the eighth minute drops. So, NBC, you've probably had more chances than Donner, Kyle, to play the beta. I know we talked I, a bit about yeah. it last week. And 
So yep. how you feeling a week later after what you said last week? Still pretty similar? Or? Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, I'm somewhere around about 100 to 125 hours in the beta uh, practicing and stuff. Whoa, um, watch out. Here comes so, NBC and SGA. They're putting in the time. Um, definitely been watching a lot of videos uh, and everything. And uh, there's some very unique styles out there. I think we're going to see some very interesting gameplay this year. Um, right. And I'm pretty sure you're going to see the the first bail record broke this year. Okay. All right. Um, so... The blue team, unfortunately for the red team, they delivered their grain and then these drops showed up and a grain multiplier happened to be one of them. So the blue team is going to come out ahead in this. They're going to have an advantage because they got grain multiplier at one and a half times and delivered their grain. Um, so let's actually go have a look at the blue team. Like newbie is the one that's delivered their grain. Looks like that was all of it. So 2.4 to 1.6. And they're going to take advantage of this right away. Several bales ready to go in. So the red team picked up grain multiplier right at the end. I'm wondering if they have some like already ready to go. Uh, might be a wasted opportunity, but we will see. So blue team going out to a nice little lead here. And JK has a few more bales, unloading three more out of the case baler at the moment. Nice lead for the blue team, 296 to 179. I am, like, super excited for the FSL season. This will be my first, like, full one as a caster um, and a full-time Giants employee. I think I joined in, like, the... I think the fourth online tournament last year I did on my own channel with the clean feed, which you guys can do as well. I'm pretty sure that's coming back for season four. So on Saturdays, we don't do an official broadcast on this channel uh i'm talking about the twitch channel and then of course like on youtube and facebook which you're watching right now we have fsl specific channels whereas on twitch it's just the giants channel it kind of encompasses everything um so we have a clean feed on saturdays when like the uh play-ins are happening the qualifiers for sunday events so you can take the clean feed and capture it and restream it to your channel do your own commentary if you want. I know people that do it in uh, their native languages, which is great. So definitely recommend doing that if you want. But yeah, so I did that for a month. And then after that, I did a, two Fantastic. tournaments on a contract basis. As the blue team now picks up a Bale-tastic, their lead is extended even further. Um, but yeah, so did that on a contract basis. And then I got hired full time. So this will be my first full season of the FSL. I should be able to make most of the tournaments. I do have to relocate for the U.S. office opening later this summer. So that might interfere. I don't know. But the great thing is, is uh, it's going to be an online-only tournament this year. So that's like a bad thing and a good thing. Um, for my perspective, I'm online only anyways, being in the US. Um, and then we have people like NBC and the rest of the SGA guys who are gonna be able to compete from North America since it's an online only tournament. So uh, opens up the playing field a little bit more internationally, which is cool. It'll uh, stink to not see those in-person events though, because I love seeing the reactions on people's faces. Like, I don't think that that Lindner uh, sneaky, Lindner load up unveiling last year would have had much of an imp as much of an impact if we couldn't have seen their faces and how proud of themselves they were when they unveiled that strategy for the first time. Um, yeah, that was pretty fantastic. Wasn't yeah. it? I mean, you could just tell they were having fun, and then the guys, I think it was My Insanity, wasn't it, that they were playing? Yeah, no, to... it was DJK. Oh, well. oh, it was DJK, you're right. <clears throat> and like they were just like, no, oh, no. <laughs> they well, it's now together. become a meme on uh, the farm sim Discord. Yeah, you're right. They're like, what just happened? <laughs> uh, we did have a super drop. It's bale withering for four bales for the red team. And Maxinator looks like he's going for it. Um, and Newbie's trying to get there for the blue team. And just in time, Maxinator grabs it. So they really needed that i'm not sure and now it's even in bales though but they're behind by 240 points and the multipliers against them so 
uh, this seems to be well in control of the blue team. But yeah, so uh, Camo and chat, how you doing? Camo, again, good to see you. Uh, the office, well, we've had an oops. Weatherman, uh, I predict that the weather is going to be wet <laughs> for you because <laughs> he, is, he is in the moat. He got stuck on the bridge and uh, he was able to detach the baler, but the tractor ended up in the drink. Uh, but yeah, the U.S. It's office is coming along great. In fact, uh, we get the keys for it on the 1st of May, and I'll be out there that week, so there won't be scrims on whatever that Friday is coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, the 1st is on a Sunday. So, what, the 6th? So, yeah, there won't be any scrims that week because I'll just be traveling back from the Chicago area to where I live now because I'll be there. We have some light construction and some setup to do for the U.S. office. Um, so, yeah, we are uh, we are really, uh, really close now to the U.S. office. It, it, it's real. It's happening. And myself and Nicholas, the other U.S. employee, along with uh, Jan from the Swiss office, will uh, all be there in a few weeks getting things set up and ready to go. And then I'll be moving out in August. So I will be in the office a lot more in a couple of months. Hopefully uh, have a nice little stream space in the office. Kind of worried about the uh, business internet options because we got like a we got a gigabit down, but the upload was a lot lower than that. Unfortunately, our only option was Comcast for the office. Um, oh. So yeah. <laughs> and so anyone that streams and has dealt with them before knows the pain of that. No need to say more. Yeah, right. Okay, what is going on? Like, we've had, oh, Weatherman is in the, like, there, what, how did another bailer get in the moat? What is going on here? I missed that. Yeah, Weatherman probably got a, got a ping of, of above 200 again. Ah, uh, you're probably right. Didn't think of that. So, uh, under a minute, 637 to 381. So, I think, it, it seems like in this season that there is potential... For obviously, like the harvesters are faster, um, they're putting down more straw as well. I believe is that right? Do you guys know? Yes, like the that. straw was increased and the grain was increased. Right. So okay. So that's happening. Um, but then transport company is gone. So it's like there's almost a potential for more bales but lower scores because you can't rely on like combo points as easily. Right. You can't just bring in. 14 bales with one on the front and get like a double combo right away and and sneak it in on your opponent so it seems like it's more like consistent action is going to be in season four now like keep in mind those of you watching that aren't aware this is still the beta for season four in fact it ends today um and then the official client will be released um at some point in the near future the season is only like a month away now um and there'll be i'm sure some tweaks there as well before that happens so uh we may still have some surprises in store not sure what will happen okay so blue team takes the win 773 to 459 31 bales to 20 delivered um yeah pretty good first round i hope everyone had fun um donner and nbc it was a pleasure having you guys uh in chat with me thank you for having me no problem of course um do you Donner, are you wanting to play tonight as well? Whatever you want. I don't care. Cool. Let's get a different group in now. We'll join these other guys in the lobby. All right. So <laughs> Donner Kyle nailed it. 3,500 ping and a launch into the water. Oh, brutal weatherman. <laughs> yeah, this uh, is why I don't join you guys that often. This is uh, kind of embarrassing. But uh, brilliant. Thanks, guys. That was an awesome game. Yeah, always love having yeah. it. Even without the being... Like, it might be embarrassing for you, but it's entertaining for me, unfortunately. I hate to break it to you. 
<laughs> and whatever I can bring to the ball, I'll do it. Eh? <laughs> right. I mean, the best moments as a caster for the FSL is when someone ends up in the moat or stuck on a bridge. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Watching the streams every now and then, you watch somebody going to the water and you go, how could you do something that stupid? And you do it yourself and you realize, <laughs> hmm, now I know. <laughs> oh, crap. Yep. Okay, so let's, uh, I think we have enough to get a completely different six in. Um, let's get Linux and Soren in. Um, so I'll drag them to the blue team. And let's put, NBC, are you the only SGA guy? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Uh, Spencer is here. Oh, yeah, Spencer's yeah. here. Cool, cool. Um, I, got, all right. I got time for one. So. You got time for one? Okay, let's uh, let's see. Who else hasn't played yet? So we've got Silas from Lindner. We've got Don. Oh, my Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, they haven't played. Put, so. put me with Zerlin. Put you with who? Put me with LSA. Okay, cool. There you go. Don or Kyle down there. NBC and Spencer red team with silas silas is uh yes you good with that yes cool all right and then everyone else just played so we'll get you guys and again the next one all right easy enough so this is what i love um i was recently doing like an interview and the discussion was mainly focused on the fsl and the question was pretty much like how does the Farming Simulator League community get on with each other? Because the Farming Simulator, if you know the game, you realize like it's kind of like, even though it's a simulation game, it can it, it has like its stresses at times, right? But um, you, it's a relaxing game. It's a game you enjoy. You get to make friends. You're chatting with people if you're playing multiplayer, right? Um, and then you mix in a competitive atmosphere. And so the question was a lot like, what happens uh, when you switch the game to competitive? And it's like, you'd be surprised. Like, of course the guys want to win. Like, it, it's a competition at the end of the day. Everyone wants to do as well as they can. But it's generally still pretty helpful. Everyone seems to get along. And it's so easy to do these scrims, even when there's a bunch of people here, because people are just willing to go with the flow. They'll uh, step out. If they've already played a game, they'll let someone else play, and it's awesome. Um, okay, so... Uh, that's not the right Discord uh, tornado. If there, if Mayor is talking about the Scrim Discord, um, let me see if I have that link real quick. Uh, hold on. I, these are the kind of things that I need to supply you guys as moderators. Here's the information on how to join in chat right now. Uh, it should be on all three channels. It's not quite on Facebook yet, it doesn't look like, but should get there eventually. Um, so, I see, I think JK's leaving. Um, we've had a few people step out, so have a great night, guys. Thanks for being here. Uh, I know this is tough for you all because it's, uh, it's late night for all of you on the other side of the pond. There you guys go. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to copy that... Um, that would be great. What's up, Hilsey? How you doing, buddy? How you been? Good to see you. All right, so we're waiting on uh, we're waiting on Donner Kyle, and then we'll be good to go. I love hanging out with you guys. It's so chill. Um, it's always a good time. Just over a hundred of you right now on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Thanks for spending your Friday evening or early morning with me. We're just uh, just getting started. We're thirty minutes into the stream, just about. We're one game in. We got plenty more uh, games to go. Weatherman, I hope you have a good night, buddy, and thanks for stopping in. Go get some rest. I hope you have a great weekend. Welcome to FSL Late Night. I just, uh, so Spanner, I just noticed your nails. Do they symbolize anything? Uh, feeling comfortable in my own skin. That's it. <laughs> uh, this one's red because of the tattoo on my hand. But other than that, no, just enjoy doing it. It's a treat yourself kind of thing. My wife and I go together. Started doing it uh, about six to eight months ago or something like that. And yeah, it's good to feel pampered. 
Kermit with forklift. <laughs> and the, the stream doesn't do them justice because these aren't actually black. Like the, it's a black undercoat, but there's uh, some cool colors on top. Yeah, it's pretty nice. What's up, Billy? Oh, we got, so I have this restream chat, so I don't see like raid alerts on this. So whoever raided us, thank you. Uh, I have to have this restream chat up so that I can see Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch, and it doesn't give us those kind of alerts, but thanks. Uh, and that's why I love you guys in chat for calling things like that out. Donner Kyle, uh, are, you, are you all right over there, Donner? Yeah, I had some technical difficulties with my headset, sorry. Oh, no worries. Just making sure you're all good. We'll be here yeah. when you're ready. Be there in a sec, yeah. Yeah, Hendrik, uh, you've been a great addition to the mod team, and I know on weekends you stay up late a little bit later as is, so uh, by default we roped you in to having to do these streams too. You didn't know how much uh, we were going to put on your shoulders <laughs> when you decided to do this, did you? Oh. Right, Mini Catalyst? You are correct. Yeah, I mean, and now I'm hooked. Like, the first time I tried it, now I just, you know, have to go back once a month. It's weird. I need to put the music on just slightly. It's weird without, like, any background noise in between these games. Is Giants going to put more animals in game? I don't know those kind of questions. These uh, FSL streams aren't really the uh, best place to ask those kinds of questions. Um, but it has been said pretty much like Farm Sim 22, we're pretty happy overall with where it is. Like we realize it's not perfect. It still has some bugs to be fixed. But as far as like the major features, I wouldn't expect the like base gameplay mechanics to change much. Precision farming is gonna add like a new layer that's optional. Um, but like any changes to the base game as far as like animals or anything uh, like productions I'm not so sure um, But again, I'm not a coder. I'm not a 3d artist. So I have to uh, Ask those questions myself to my colleagues who are more talented at that sort of thing than me um, And they're all off having a great holiday weekend. I hope because they deserve it we will, so we do these streams on Tuesdays once a month at 8 a.m. Pacific, which is 11 a.m. Eastern time, which is 5 p.m. German time, is that right? Time zones, man. Um, we do the live podcast once a month, almost every Tuesday at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central European time. I do the spotlight streams where it's a one-on-one -on -one interview with a community member. Last week we had Mr. Seely P, famous uh, farm sim content creator on YouTube as the guest. That was a fantastic stream. I had so much fun. I could have talked to Mr. Seely P for another hour or two at least. That was a blast. Um, and then we also have the podcast, the not live edition that happens like every two weeks after the live one. So we have a podcast two times a month. One is live, one is completely pre-recorded. The live one has um, Q and A sessions at the end. So if you have questions like animals, etc., we may or may not answer them. But those are the best times to ask your questions when it comes to that. All right. So meanwhile, we've got bottleneck by both teams. We've got the ideal combine. And we've got a John Deere Baylor and a Case Baylor reserved by other team. Uh, we've got Under Pressure and Runner Perk for the red team. We've got Sixth Sense, Archimedes, and Under Pressure for the blue team. So interesting uh, strategies here. Same team perk, slightly different setup on the uh, player perks. So let's see how this plays out. Oh, I'm talking about the other streams, Alex. Um, yeah, there's so many different things I'm talking about. We have this stream too now that's back once a week. Um, we will be doing this again next week and the week after, but then I think it's three weeks from now is when I'll be on site getting the US office all sorted and set up.
All right, here we go. Let's have a look. I'm gonna turn the ghost mode on. We've got two people going for the Coon Baylor here. Looks like Red Team might be grabbing it before Linux. Uh, that was Spencer beating Linux to that. Uh, Silas from Team Lendner is already set off for the first bail. In fact, Surin for the blue team, they're almost neck and neck here. They've made like almost an identical turn as well. So they're gonna go back towards the main road here. So um, Thomas, I actually asked Daggerwin, um, and Daggerwin would love to be on the stream, but if you have ever watched his content, you know he doesn't do a lot of live streams because of where he lives. Uh, he doesn't have like the best internet. That's why most of his content are videos. So he politely declined for now due to his internet issues, or we would have had him on for sure. We would have been amiss to not have him on. Uh, 129 and a nice drive by bailing by Silas. Uh, for Surin, wasn't as smooth. Bail ended up uh, dropping way out here, and it looks like they're just going to say, forget it, we'll get those points later. One thing this needs that other esports title have an equivalent of skins. That would be interesting, but also, uh, I would say, hard to achieve, because the thing that we have to take into account for our esport is that you're, the characters really like each player has a character you're not really seeing them a lot unless they're on foot or like if we're looking like at this view but the characters really in this esport are the machines and so brands want to have their branded vehicles shown right they don't want like a scanned version of it or whatever so uh, great idea but i'm not sure how we would pull that off it would be cool to see though if we could figure it out uh Farmer Cop is definitely going to be on one day. So the problem is, like, I only do one a week. It's only 52 weeks in a year, and I won't do all 52 weeks either. Like I said, in a few weeks, there won't be any streams from me because I'll be on site. Uh, so there's so many awesome people um, that it would take us several years to cover them all, right? But there's definitely uh, some good names being mentioned in chat that I'd like to have on for sure. Um uh, Okay, we've got our 12th minute drops coming up in uh, 12 seconds. It's going to spawn right over here. Have a good night, Jay. Thanks for all your help, man. I hope you have a great weekend. Speak to you on Monday, if not before that. Okay, we've got direct delivery and speed limit. So speed limit, self-explanatory, slows your opponent down. Direct delivery will actually increase your multiplier without having to deliver the grain. It increases it as you're harvesting. So early game, pretty good one to get. Um, and if one team gets this and the other team doesn't, that could make a slight advantage early on for each team. The blue team look like they're gonna go for it because they're already moving in that direction. Um, it looks like they're actually gonna go for speed limit. Okay, so now Spencer's running over and he's gone with direct delivery. So these kind of do cancel each other out in a way um, because NBC will be slowed down and he won't be able to take as much of advantage of the direct delivery as he would like. Um, meanwhile, the blue team is at their silo delivering grain. It's Surin from LSA Esports. So I think direct delivery only got so the red team like a 0.1 extra advantage direct delivery is maybe still a little too slow in my opinion in the in the beta to really make it like worth it mine eyes will still be on the chat especially on you cam <laughs> uh, i like how um like the the best and most well-behaved members of the community get uh more abuse from us and like mods than the ones that deserve it <laughs> because we're just having a good good time and making fun of people and giving them a um, giving them a hard time no the uh the team yeah thank you for answering that maxinator um maxinator is correct the ghost is something that i can toggle on and on it's an observer only mode 
Um, the, but they can see each other across the map. So if NBC were to look to his left here, he could see the blue team like pretty clear in his view um, and see what they're up to, right? So you can glance across the map. Um, the map, if I like zoom out real quick, it's basically a, re a reverse mirrored image. So red team's barn is there where blue team silos on the same side and then vice versa, right? Red team silo there on the near side, blue team barn. Other than that, it's identical. It's just a reverse mirrored image. The fields are the same size. Uh, everything else is exactly the same. All right. So 129 to zero so far. The uh, blue team uh, missed on the first bail attempt. And so that first bail is still just hanging out near the barn here. But the blue team can more than make that up with this multiplier advantage right now. NBC, though, is headed in with some more grain. NBC uh, is probably going to be the one that's going to unload this. Looks like they might leave it for now. Um, and this is probably smart because as we saw in the last round, we had a team deliver their grain right before the eight-minute mark. And then Grain Multiplier was one of the eight-minute drops. And the blue team took advantage of that, took control of the multiplier. If you're wondering what good does the multiplier do if you're newer to the FSL, so you get 10 points per bale put into the bottom part of the barn right here. Unless it's the first bale, which is calculated on a mathematical equation that makes my brain explode. I encourage you to go to the FSL website and look at the stat sheet. Maybe you can make sense of it. Um, but first bail is based mainly on speed of delivery. After that, you really want to focus on putting your bales into the top of the barn via the conveyor belt because you'll get 10 points multiplied by what your multiplier is. So it's not grain multiplier this time, but it's bale multiplier and speed up. Um, so I'd imagine that uh, the red team will be headed back to deliver their grain at some point. In fact, it looks like Spencer might be the one that's going to do it now. He's got the ideal completely full. And looks like he's going to head for the silo. The blue team's picked up Bale Multiplier, which is huge for them. Because this will add on top of their already great Grain Multiplier. And they are about to score some Bales with it. Before the red team can deliver their Grain. So let's see here. This is going to be a nice bit of... Yeah, 74 points per Bale. I mean, they're going to wipe out the uh, first bail disadvantage just nearly with two of them. Uh, Spencer just now getting to the silo for the red team and starting to flip it in their favor. It's not going to be 74 anymore, but this is still going to be a pretty good score. Uh, still 40 seconds to go on bail multiplier. The red team did pick up bail multiplier as well. So they're about to score some points now. But now also the blue team are at their silo, and it's Linux from LSA delivering more grain. So the blue team right now keeping that multiplier in their favor. 233 to 173. And Donner Kyle's got two about to go in at 38 apiece. So a nice couple of minutes there for the blue team. NBC now is going to score a couple... That'll be 22 points apiece. E equals MC squared is the calculation for the first one. It's more complicated than that. Oh my goodness. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. You got to go look at it yourself. I, I can't make sense of it, but that's why I feel like, you know, I'm decent at communicating and being in front of the camera because I stink at math. The languages and uh, things like that were always more of my area of expertise. <laughs> Brock, how you doing, buddy? That could... Mayor, uh, if you don't get it tonight, we'll be back next week, same time. So hopefully we can get you in in a future one. That happens from time to time. Um, and unfortunately right now, like if there's a problem with our servers, everyone but me in the company is on holiday right now. 
already, so um, the guys who would be in charge of fixing that won't be around until Tuesday. Um, so this is what we call the uh, safer route um, compared to the drawbridges, but you guys can see how bumpy it is. It's not that safe. Uh, you're frustrated at yourself because you're breaking mods? Well, don't be too hard on yourself, Brock. All right, so 460 to 294. We're about 25 seconds away from the super drop. The super drop could be helpful for the red team if they can get it, depending on what it is. So, it's going to populate in one of these uh, two areas. Let's see what we get. Uh, we went to a local pizza place. So, bale withering again. Two bales for the red team, one bale for the blue team. This isn't as lucrative as it could have been for the red team. It does look like they're gonna get it. Spencer has the runner perk, which allows him to run faster on foot. You have to be on foot to grab these drops. You can't be in your tractor. Um, so bale withering for two bales picked up by the red team. That's not enough really to swing things and uh, give them, you know, get them back in this game though, I'm afraid. Uh, they have countered a bale combo though, meanwhile. So that's given them 50 points. Not too bad. Um, they do have the multiplier in their favor, but the bail count is the same right now. So it's going to be a, a tough mountain to climb here for the red team. Yeah, the bail flick trick is pretty nice. Uh, it's, it's really amazing to me what some of these players can do in the Farming Simulator League Arena. Uh, when I have to play, which happens occasionally when we don't have enough players in the lobby, uh, I make a fool of myself. Um, but yeah, these guys that practice it and play it a lot, they can do some really awesome stuff. How can I sell chickens on FS19? Uh, so chickens in base game FS19 and 22 do not uh, work via a trailer. So you have to, oh, Linux! Did a nosedive. I thought he was going all the way over there. The uh, bridge was starting to close on him. Just about made it. You should be able to sell him directly from the pen, though. That's how you do it. Or if you can get a modded trailer, you can do it that way. Wicked. <laughs> yeah, so the Anderson loader is gone. Uh... No more transport company. That's the biggest change for season four. Excuse me. Thirsty work over here. Yeah, so you should be able to go like to the like where you buy the chickens, where you bought the chickens from. You sell them from the same area. And you select the ones you want to sell and then confirm. 694 to 522, one minute, 20 seconds to go. Remember to hydrate, chat, indeed. Thanks for joining us uh, on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch this evening, this night, early morning, whatever it is for you. I appreciate you all. So we have, uh, right now we have these six that are playing. We have three more in the waiting lobby. So we're just going to keep these matches rolling tonight. Thank you, Tornado. So it's it, it might get confusing because we have so many discords. Um, we have the official Farming Simulator Discord, which Tornado just shared. Those are the best places to ask questions about gameplay because there are always people in there from the community willing to help, even if uh, the red names, the Giants employees aren't around, myself, Chucky, Lars... Anyone else that might be around, uh, you can get answers by going into the Discord. There's a Players Helping Players channel. If you speak multiple languages or English isn't your native language, we have uh, a bunch of other languages at this point. Not just German and English, but we have uh, Dutch and we have French and we have... I can't remember what else, but there's a lot. Spanish, I think, there's a channel, maybe. 
Um, that's the best place. We have the Scrim, FSL Scrim Discord, which is specifically for these streams. I do one on Friday nights, and Ginny does one on uh, Wednesday evenings, German time, on the German channel, which is Giant Software DE. So if you speak German, definitely go check those out. Ginny is awesome. Uh, she loves the FSL too. She joined the company about the same time as me. So she's doing the German language streams uh, like I do these English ones. So if you speak German, go hang out with her sometime too. All right, 814 to 620 was the final score. 35 bales to 23. The red team left seven bales out there on the field. Um, not sure that would have even been enough at the end of the day to close that gap. But uh, yeah, good games, guys. Okay, cool. Moving right along then. Sly Fox, you often answer questions in there when I've got the time. Um, so like we see, what advantage does the drunken harvesting path provide? So uh, you have to avoid weeds. It's kind of hard to see them, but uh, if you if you don't have the herbicide team perk, weeds will appear in your field. So that's one reason they do weird patterns, because if you drive through the weeds, it slows your combine down like massively, and you also aren't put outputting straw that you need to bale. So if you don't have the herbicide team perk, you'll see teams doing like crop circles around the patches of weeds. Um, also, if you don't have narrow tires, and you want to drive your tractor through the field, um, it'll slow you down. So oftentimes, like the grain cart for each team to deliver grain to the silo to increase their multiplier spawns in the middle of the bigger field. So if teams don't have a narrow tire tractor, they'll actually like cut a path to the grain cart, one of the first things in the round, so that when they need it, they're not slowed down by driving to get to it. Um, so... That's part of the reason, and another reason is time. You don't have enough time to make sure you're getting everything perfect like in regular farm sim, right? Where regular farm sim, you don't really wanna miss any of that grain. Farming Simulator League, it's all about speed, and you wanna just get as much straw down as you can so that you can have as many bales as possible to score as well. Okay, let's get in the waiting lobby. Let's get this next six. And then looks on. Hey. All right, so um, we just had sitting out were Matza, NBC, Maxinator, and Newbie. Is that right? Um, I, so. I guess. <laughs> no, I was playing. <laughs> oh, you were just playing. I'm trying to remember who yeah, wasn't was playing. playing. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Well, Matza wasn't playing, I believe. Yes. Okay, so let's put Matza blue team. Um, newbie, you weren't playing, right? So you can no, I wasn't. Red team, um, and then the I think what do we got? Three, six, seven. So who else wasn't playing that's in here right now? Uh, I wasn't playing this round. Okay, cool. So Maxinator will put you with Matza, and then um, let's see here. Let's uh, I can, give. I can play with Matze. Okay, I'll put you on their team, and then I'll put. Uh, I'll let the LSA guys get another game. I'll put them red team. No, no, no! I go into the bed. Oh, you go into bed. Okay, Linux. <laughs> well, have a great night. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being here, Surin. Are you going to bed too? Then. Uh no no I uh, can play one more one more game. Okay, all right. I'll put you red team. Um, and then Silas, I'll put you with Matza. Yeah. Okay. And then, all right. NBC, Donner oh. Kyle, which one of you wants to be red team? Give I'm it to Donner to get... Kyle. Oh, I me. Because you're special. Well, because NBC has, uh, just admitted he has 125 hours into the beta. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> That's the reason. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. But 32 bills up top, huh? <laughs> maybe uh, yeah all right donner you can be red team nbc you'll join me in uh the casting Alrighty. channel <laughs> oh. give away all my secrets tornado you should give away all your secrets <laughs> uh oh um yeah so the like um the pods at the like the starting area so harvesters and balers will spawn randomly around those. So 
Um, you have to, just like regular farm sim, when you play the FSL, you have to know the stats of the equipment. So if you have a 300 horsepower baler and you don't have a tractor to run it, you're going to have a hard time. You're going to be going really slow. Um, so that's one of the things, honestly, that I struggle with the most when I'm playing is like trying to remember all of this information about the individual equipment and making sure you're matching things up right. Um, even something like getting the John Deere like 6120M, I think it is, and it has a weight on the back, like that can really slow you down as well. Because if you attach a baler to it, it kind of like lifts you up in the air a bit. Um, so you're always having to think about these things. But so the pods at the beginning, uh, balers and harvesters randomly spawn on all of those. So the ones that you really want, whether it's because it's, co it's compatible with your equipment or the ideal combine has the biggest grain tank, has a wide cutter bar, it's like the most sought after harvester in the Farming Simulator League. So most of the time teams will reserve the ideal and then they'll also fight to get a second ideal off of the pod. But you don't know which of those pods it's going to spawn on. And only one team can claim each piece of equipment. So you often see teams like going for something at like almost the same exact time. As soon as one team beats it to it, it locks it out on the other side of the map for the other team and they can't grab it. Um, so that's part of the strategy as well. I'll actually, um, I'll, I'll focus on the uh, pods this time for you all since you're curious. <laughs> remembering things, right? Okay. Here we go. Everyone's in. We've got Matza, Silas, and Maxinator on the blue team. We've got Surin, Newbie, and Donner Kyle on the red team. I think this is a pretty good matchup here. Uh, we've yeah, got they're... we've got some experienced uh, pros from previous seasons. Of the FSL, newbie I think is uh, live, lives up to the name. Uh, I think joined us for the first time last week. Newbie might be the one that said they played briefly before, but not a whole lot. I'm trying to remember who that was last week. There was two people that were newer I, names. It to might me. have been him, and right. I, he showed up to uh, one of our practices this week too. So that oh, was nice. Awesome. Well, you know, I love seeing that. I'm glad you guys do those practices, and um, you guys you know, kind of keep it going when we're not doing these too, right? So there's- We try to. There's always plenty of opportunities too if you're already in like the FSL Scrim Discord or if you're like uh, a team that's looking to officially compete, there's an official Farming Simulator League Discord. So like teams that already are playing are looking for like their own times to practice as well. So the blue team has decided not to ban anything. The uh, red team has banned both Valtras, it looks like. <laughs> uh, poor Vultra. We've got Ideals reserved for both team. We've got Bottleneck by the red team. We've got Unstoppable for the blue team. So Bottleneck we've seen tonight. Enter two most bridges race for your opponent. Unstoppable increases the speed of your conveyor belt, decreases the speed of your opponent's conveyor belt, uh, and yours can never be stopped either. And we've got a, a Baylor for each team, New Holland for the blue team, and uh, Case for the red team. Uh, we've got the runner perk and the John Deere 6120M for Matza, the Massey, Ferguson, and under pressure for Silas. Surin's gone with the Case IH with the narrow tires and under pressure. Newbie with the Massey 7726 and Archimedes++. Plus Plus. Archimedes allows you to unload grain in uh, either the grain cart or your harvester faster. Um, the runner perk allows you to run faster on foot, really good for picking up drops. Head start, which Donner Kyle's picked, allows you to like drive off immediately when hopping in a piece of equipment. You don't have to wait for that little lull of the engine to start up and then get going. Um, and then Maxinator's picked six cents, which allows Maxinator to see uh, where the drops are gonna be. For the super drop, it shows him a couple of different locations, but all the other drops, he'll know ahead of time where they're gonna be showing up. The other thing to remember about Unstoppable there, Kerminator, is your opponent cannot go over 2.4 or it will stop their belt. Right, which I made that mistake uh, yeah. last week when we had it, playing against you guys, I think. I didn't yes. realize this was the strategy, and the, I went just over, and Matsu was like, no, no, no. <laughs> it was 2.5, but they uh, they changed it with the patch. 
Now, okay. I will tell you, you can go 3.0 and drive the bales up. Right. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so here's the pods. You can see, like, if I turn the, uh, oops, if I turn the mirror on as well, uh, it looks like we're going to have a battle over here for the John Deere Combine, and Maxinator beat Donner Kyle to that. So that's kind of what you uh, can expect when it comes to uh, the fight over equipment. It's happened here as well. Newbie has been beaten to the Coon Baylor by Silas from Lindner. Okay, so we have Maxinator and the John Deere Combine. We've got Matza. It looks like, uh, yeah, the blue team has a harvester streak. The red team just repelled the rush. Um, they already had a, a combine reserved, but are they stuck with just the one combine? I think they are. So still a little uh, bit of good work there by the blue team because it does appear that uh, for this entire round, ooh, meantime, uh, there's a Baylor streak for the red team. Surin's got 135 on the first bail, so it is a great start, uh, really, for both teams. But for the, the red team, yeah, they are limited to just one harvester. Blue team's got the ideal and the John Deere running. And they've got the new Holland running. So all three players from the blue team are running combines at the moment. Um, while the red team are stuck with one. So Newbie is is running the ideal. Um, they've got two bailers out, but they will be stuck to one combine. Yeah, it definitely looks orange, um, but, and I we hear this a lot, it definitely looks orange, um, but it's blue team and red team. That's what we call them. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry to upset anyone, but. Uh, yep, that's that. You're not wrong. It's definitely orange. Like if you look at it, I would agree with you. That's orange, but when we score it, it's red team, blue team. So you know. <laughs> Night cams, farmer. Have a good one. <laughs> nope, it wasn't just you. Um, so this is interesting. Uh, it looks like you know the blue team has three combines. Three combines is way too much grain, more than you need. So they're gonna dump some of the grain out. Maxinator and Silas are dumping their grain out. Matza might be about to do the same. Um, so they're probably just, they're trying to get as much straw down as they can and then they'll deliver some grain later would be my guess. Yeah, I would, yeah I'll definitely show you a close up. Let's look at, um, let's look at the blue team because I feel like uh, since they're running three combines. So yeah, here's actually Silas heading for one now. And you look, he's hit some, and look how much he's slowed down. And look at how it impacts the swath as well. Like, look at that interruption when he went through just a tiny little bit of weeds. Like, he didn't even go through the whole patch. He just clipped, like, part of it. And it slowed him down and messed up with the swap, messed up his swap as well. So that's kind of what it looks like. That was like almost perfect timing. It was meant to be there. Um, let's have a look and see if someone else is about to do the same. So, so you Matza avoiding them like you should. He's gonna leave that patch there. The good news is, is like, you know, like again, in regular farm sim, right? You would never in a million years wanna leave grain on the field, right? The good news is here in the FSL, there's more than enough wheat on like both fields that you're likely never gonna harvest at all. Having said that, this team with three harvesters has already put a pretty big dent into the big field, haven't they? Look at the yeah, difference. Look at the difference with three combines running compared to one right now. Yep. I mean, they have wiped out a good portion. They've left like the area where the grain cart is kind of untouched. This area where there's like some weeds and part of it's untouched. And then the weeds over here generally are what they've left as well. So they're making quick work of it, but they need to get to bailing at some point as well. So a 2.5 multiplier as well now 
uh, for the red team, which we kind of, I think, expected. But they've gone over it, so their belt stopped. And Surin is like, he looked like he was trying to drive up the belt, and now he's ended up on his side. Oh, nice save, and didn't even lose the bail. Look at that. Right, we get that um, during like tournaments, mini catalyst. We get that comment a lot, like you know, experienced farm sim players. If you've never watched the FSL, you'll be like, "What the heck are they doing? Why are they leaving this grain on the field?" <laughs> um, and I get you, um, because I'm like that too. But yeah, in the FSL, speed is king. It's all about scoring as many points in the 15 minutes as you can. Uh, it's not about making money and, and keeping your farming operation afloat, right? So, a little bit different when the FSL comes into play. All right, so this is going to be 15, well, 45 points uh, because it's the first bail for the blue team. So, Matsu just scoring the one. Not going to worry with the rest. So... Matza is, I think, a great example of like how much putting time and effort into honing your craft for the FSL can pay off. Last year, his team, De Acrefleur, the Field Fleas, uh, were an unseeded team. Um, they were able to win the play-in tournament at the end of the season to get the last spot, 16th place, for the World Championships. And now this season, the A-E-N on the end of his name means he's now his team that are sponsored. They're now Team Astragon for season four. All right, and eight Mats minute drops. He's just a great person in general. He's been he a lot really of help is. to us. Yeah, he's been a huge help to you guys, I know. Like, you guys kind of made friends, like, you know, early on. Uh, I love connecting the German and, uh, and English audiences and others, too. Like, just connecting, like, the European fans to uh, the North American fans through the Farming Simulator League has been great for these scrimmage streams. Even oh, like definitely. these guys are staying up to the wee hours of the morning uh, to yeah. hang out with friends and, and meet new friends and, and play the FSL, which they love so much. So it's cool to see. Definitely. Uh, I, so I played, I played several games last week um, because we only had five other people in the lineup. But, uh, yeah, I usually prefer to be casting. This is where I like to be. I want to see in the next farm sim cow buildings where cows can lay down on beds and see manure on ground. That'd be cool. My fields are the worst when I'm doing contracts because I'm trying to cover the most amount of ground quickly, but my own fields are well manicured. <laughs> Hello, Farmulator. How you doing? Farm Sim Ambassador, Facebook streamer, Farmulator in the house. How you doing? Uh, what's up, Twin Cam? Another awesome content creator right from right here on Twitch. We're live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, so I'm talking to people across all three. Um, so if you're confused, that's what's going on. I, you know what? Next week, I need to work on getting like the chat on screen um, so that you guys can see what other people are Very saying. Very interesting what the red team is doing here. Looks like they're trying to do a modified Lindner push. You think so? Oh yeah, like they're kind they of uh, yeah, they're kind of stacking up bales here. Yep. Not sure how get well multiplier. this is going to work uh, because they're kind of all over the place. But let's see what happens. Going to get you addicted to FSL again? Hey, that's what I'm here for. Fantastic. Oh, a bale tastic. Meanwhile, for the blue team. So bail tastic is ten bales in a row. You get fifty points. Red team needs to watch that. That that other five bales goes quick. Yeah, it's ten to fifteen. So yeah, the next one is a bail pressive. That's a hundred points. If you counter, so if you counter a bail tastic, it's thirty points. If you counter a bail pressive, it's fifty points. Um, so you're not going to get as much as you would for the combo, but. You stop your opponents from getting those bonus points. Matza is short one bail to get the 15 right now. Um, but the red team do need to be careful. It looks like Maxinator might be about to head in with one on the front and a few in the bailer. Silas is out there with the new Holland bailer as well. 
Looks like Mats is kind of playing the waiting game. He, uh, he might be looking to see what the red team are doing. He's wondering about this combo. And I think they might be going for it into the bottom here, potentially. Because Maxinator is going to come in. Oh, Maxinator getting caught on the bridge a little bit. Losing the one in the front. Gathers it back. Um, Surin now is going to put one in to reset that combo. So there will not be a uh, bail pressive for the blue team. What's up, Tigger? How you doing, buddy? Hey, big Tigger. <laughs> Lag. Oh, All right, we've got the super drop. Ooh, did he? Matzo with the bail yep. falling off. We have uh, super drops about to show up. Uh, it's not too far away. Neither team are really, like... Maxinator is probably the closest. I would imagine the Maxinator might be about to go for this, depending on what it is. It's bottom boost. This is my favorite super drop. This gives you the same amount of Ooh. points for bales put into the bottom as you would get into the top. Would really Maxinator the is going right for now. this. Yeah, red team. No one's competing with him. Oh, Maxinator did not hop out in time. Uh, newbie getting over there now. Maxinator though gonna grab it. So now let's watch. Silas is gonna put them into the bottom. So it's not much more because their their multiplier was only 1.5, but hey, five points extra per bale with this amount of bales will add up and they're already in the lead. So the red team really probably could have got back into the game if they had done that, but then Silas getting caught on the conveyor belt there a bit. Now running into the uh, New Holland baler, trying to connect back to it. Silas going to deliver some off the back. Here comes Matza with a couple. He's going to get them in before the bottom boost expires. They've got 10 seconds left here on the bottom boost. Matza trying to grab one more and get it in. There it is, 395 to 175. We've got NBC Master Dad with me, who uh, is part of the SGA Sim Game Alliance stream team, and also uh, SGA will be competing and representing uh, North America and the U.S. in Season 4 of the FSL. So... Uh, we have six other people other than myself, or seven other people in here other than myself, so uh, one of them has to sit out for a round at the moment. So NBC's just hanging out and chatting with me. Yes, I am. Loving every minute of it. Bailtastic for the red team, meanwhile. Uh, that closed the gap a little bit. This is getting interesting, and the red team does have uh, the 2.5 to 1.5 multiplier. The problem with that is, is they're not scoring those points because they can't use their conveyor belt. So they really are having to rely on those combo points to kind of close the gap. We get VR like requested a lot for Farming Simulator. It makes sense to me why people would love to see it just for that extra level of immersion. On the Community Spotlight stream earlier this week with Mr. Seely P. During the Spotlight stream, I always ask people like, what their biggest wish list item for future farming simulators can be, and that was the first thing he said. Uh, blue team now extending their lead, looking pretty good for the win at the moment. They have a bail advantage. They have, they really have the points advantage too, because even though the multiplier is higher for the red team, they went over that 2.4 like NBC mentioned at the beginning, which locked their belt down because the blue team has unstoppable. So even though the multiplier is higher for the red team, they can't take advantage of it. That bail is not going to stay from Silas. That one goes crashing off. But yeah, 500 to 375. Pretty close to a multiplier for the blue team here as well. They need three more for the multiplier because the uh, their multiplier is lower too. Their bell is going so fast. They also have Unstoppable, which makes it 30% faster. And this will be more combo points for the blue team. There it is, Bailtastic. So 50 bonus points, 600 to 385 with 20 seconds to go. And the blue team are looking good for the win. Yeah, it, it would also, you know, uh, VR would require like a completely different like build of the game. So um, 
if we were like a massive triple a company with thousands of employees probably would have happened already right but we're not we're like uh, under 100 employees still across four offices three in germany and soon one actually to exist in the u.s uh coming may 1st and it won't just be uh myself and nicholas the other u.s employee our homes are, are the u.s office right now 640 to 435 blue team takes the win 37 bales to 26 the bottom boost was a nice little move too and Unstoppable uh, really worked in their favor. The red team uh, going slightly over that thing and locking their own belt down. So, another good game. Yes, it was. I'm going to take a quick break. Um, so, NBC, if you would relay that to the guys in the waiting lobby, I'll be back and we'll get another six in in like two to three minutes. Just need a short little Sounds break. Sounds good. And I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I've been like just absolutely crushing the water, consuming a lot of it, so needed more. Um, great call on getting some tea, guys, tornado and lag. Electric kettle is a game changer. When I got one of those, I don't drink tea a lot, but I do use it for my coffee. Electric kettle is a game changer for sure. So nice to have. Um, United Bill asking a question, will we get any more additional clothing for our farmer in FS22? I would love to see that. I don't have that answer for you right now, though. Um, yeah, I would love to see it. Okay, so let's get back to it here. We have exactly six guys left standing. 
<laughs> All right. But it was Everyone. great. Uh-oh, what's going on in here? <laughs> Terminator with forklift we need. Yeah. <laughs> I see how it is. Uh, all right, guys. I hope you're all having fun tonight. I'm having a blast, and uh, always. I think it's the same exact people that are just we're just in. So, um, if you want to do same teams, we can. Otherwise, we can oh, mix it up. Actually, someone left, so NBC is gonna have to play. Looks like yeah. three versus. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so. Matza, NBC, and, and newbie. That sounds good to me. Cool. All right. You doing the round or what? Nah, not tonight. You guys can have all the fun. I played <laughs> enough last week to last me for a month. <laughs> you guys can just, uh, I'll drag you down to red. You'll be red team, Donner, Surin, and Silas. Okay. Back in the cab, and a different cab, and sometimes the kitchen. Um, so if you want these for like a, a Zoom call or something like that, these exist out there for the public, by the way. All these I'm using, we put these out in a set like early on in the like first lockdown of the pandemic when people were working from home a lot. So you too can get all of these backgrounds that are cycling behind me. And uh, yeah, feel free to use them for your Zoom call and such for work, because that'd be hilarious. And then report back to me if you do. Uh, and let me know uh, what people had to say about it. Uh, okay. I'm having a blast, guys. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Uh, with my wife and I, last weekend, we got some brand new e-bikes. We had rented them at, like two weekends in a row, trying to find like one we really liked. We settled on one. We ordered it. We got them last week. And we have like been just out as much as possible now that the weather's getting nicer. Um, we're having a great time. So tomorrow we're gonna go on a nice little day trip, be gone all day ride the bikes, go to one of our favorite uh, places in a nearby town, hang out and uh, have a good time with some friends and then ride back. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, you don't have to have, a, like green screens work better for these, but there are some things now that use like the power of your graphics card or your CPU. And um, those you can use without a green screen. It's not always perfect though, like stuff will pop in and out. It's always easier with the green screen and good lighting to make it look better. Um, but even like my green screen right now, it's getting darker in the day. And if I lean this way, you can see like over this shoulder, there's like a shadow. So green screens aren't easy either. But I'm also like in my living room, the lighting conditions aren't perfect. Um, you know, we make do with the best that we have <laughs> basically. Um, okay. What's up, Taz? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, um, I wish I had the link for you, like, right now, Alex, but you should be able to find them, like, with, like, a maybe a Google search, like, Farming Simulator, like, Zoom backgrounds or something. It was on our website. It was in the blog. Unfortunately, our blog, it's, like, well archived now, um, and I don't know what the exact link is. Okay, so, we've got... Uh, We've got bottleneck. I almost said breakneck. Bottleneck uh, picked by both teams. The ideal harvester preserved by both teams. The case baler for the blue team. The new Holland baler for the red team. Matsu with the case with the narrow tires and under pressure, which allows them to press uh, bales for less straw. Surin with Archimedes Plus Plus, which allows them to unload grain faster. Um, and the Massey 77. Silas has gone with the case. 240 CVX with the narrow tires and under pressure. NBC with the Linder 130. No player perk. Donner Kyle with the Linder 130 and head start. Newbie with the Valtra S374 and Archimedes. Plus plus. So the uh, red team leaving one point on the board there. Yeah, so uh, the Farming Simulator League is still on FS19. Sadly, we did not have enough time before Season 4 to get it ready for 22, but cross your fingers. We'll have it there and ready for 
uh, next season, season five. All right, here we go. Let's have a look at the pods again. I'm going to turn on ghost mode. Let's see if we're going to have any battles here. It looks like Matza might be attempting to go for the New Holland. Uh, he is going to get beaten to that by Surin. Uh, NBC just absolutely disrespecting his Lindner here. Again, the FSL is all about speed, so he wanted to make sure he was getting the New Holland Harvester. Um, and unfortunately, his, his Lindner Lintrack 130 has taken uh, a bit of a spill. Meanwhile. Hey, thanks, daddy -O, for sharing that link. What's going on, buddy? Uh, people are like, who's daddy -O? Mind Profit in chat on Twitch. Thanks for the help. You can call him Mind Profit. Uh, I'll always call him daddy -O. I don't think... I may have called him Mind Profit like once in my life. Like when I first met him. And then since then, he's been daddy <laughs> Uh, thanks uh, for sharing that and how you doing tonight, Daddy O. Good to see you. What's up, Valmet fan? How you doing? All right, here comes uh, Silas to the barn. Uh, it looks like we've got Matza not too far behind coming in for the first bail. Silas had a nice drive by bailing last time. Ooh, a little bit of lag. <laughs> oh, someone please. Actually, I can clip that on Twitch. <laughs> Uh, that was some lag for me, I think, as an observer. I'm not sure if Silas lagged when that was happening or not, but it was hilarious to see. Uh, so 121 to 108, so the blue team coming out ahead on the first bail. Oh, yeah, I forgot you've uh, you've had the, the COVIDs. I, I'm glad that it didn't hit you too bad, and uh, I'm glad you're recovering. Oh, man, moments like that. Like, you, you know, lag is an unfortunate thing in a competitive game. I believe that the server we're playing on right now is hosted in the US, but a lot of these players playing tonight are up in the wee hours of the morning from Europe. So they're having to deal with uh, some lag spikes, which I believe SGA will have to you know, deal with. So SGA is gonna play in season four. They're all based on the East Coast of the US. Um, and they're gonna be competing I think actually Yosho Central Time because he's in the Panhandle of Florida. But either way, East Coast enough. Uh, they're going to have to get up like I do to do the casting in the wee hours of the morning for the official tournaments. They're going to have to deal with the servers being hosted in Europe. Um, but they're willing to do that because they love the FSL. They want to see it grow. And hopefully in the future, uh, next year or two, we'll have a North American circuit as well as a European circuit. So if you're enjoying yourself tonight, and you want to continue to see the FSL grow, whether you ever have an interest of playing it yourself or not, even if you just love watching it, I encourage you to support it and promote it as much as you can because while Farming Simulator as like a base game, you know, 22 was our most success successful game ever, sold in more countries than ever before. Our uh, 12th minute drops are crazy tool and speed limit, by the way. Um, the FSL is, a lot younger and smaller in comparison. Um, so if you like the FSL, even if you're never going to play it competitively, play it for fun. Tell your friends about it. Watch it as much as you can. The first official tournament is taking place May 14th and 15th. So the broadcast on the 15th will be right here on all these channels you're watching on, whether you're on the Giant Software Twitch channel or you're on the FSL Esports YouTube or Facebook right now, where you're watching me at this very moment, about a month from now. In fact, today is the 15th, right? So exactly a month from now, there'll be a broadcast. It starts um, usually, I think, 10 a.m. Central European time. So 4 a.m. Eastern. So if you're in North America, kind of a brutal time to get up, but the tournaments usually last several hours. So if you wake up early-ish, 9 a.m. or so on a Sunday, that'll be enough to catch like the very uh, later rounds of the tournament. So I encourage you guys to come out and support it because we want to continue to see it grow. I love it. Um, I was doing FSL commentary before they hired me full time for the community coordinator position. Um, and so it kind of naturally became part of my job duties. 
I took over these English language scrimmages from Chalky and moved them to US Evening Time. And I love it. Uh, I love doing the casting. We're hoping that the uh, English broadcast will have uh, some minor uh, changes to just increase the production quality as well. We're hoping to get the English casters on screen if we can get that approved. Um, so I would love to see you guys out for official tournaments as well. Um, okay, I missed some chat. Yeah, so the slot count was like uh, messed up from the beginning on console. The reason it's lowered is not to give you less slots, to, but to raise the compatibility because that slot count was miscalculated and it was causing a lot of the crashes early on that console players were experiencing. So I know when you look at it, you think that you've lost something, but really you should see it as gaining something. Surin has given Tonder Kyle a little push into the silo area here. They're both bringing their harvesters in to fill up the grain cart. Let me turn this music down a bit. So yeah, uh, it usually like the, the official tournaments sometimes like go on eight hours. Like um, we're hoping as well to have like an extra caster this year so we can like rotate in and out so that it's not the same guys talking for eight to 10 hours uh, with hardly any breaks in between matches. Like you guys, uh, if you could see like me during like a live official tournament broadcast and we get like a minute and a half in between games even though i live in a one bedroom apartment i'm still like sprinting around it and also trying to be quiet because my wife is asleep because keep in mind it's the wee hours of the morning um yeah i'm like running to use the bathroom real quick running to fill my water up get more coffee whatever it may be um so it's it's tough but it is a blast um, and you know, you sacrifice for the things that you love. So I don't have a problem with it, but eventually if we have a North American circuit, uh, okay. So selfishly, I want the FSL to grow. So we have a North American circuit. So I don't, I, I don't have to get up at 1am to do tournaments anymore. <laughs> Is that too much to ask guys? No. Support the FSL so I can sleep in on the weekends of the tournaments happen <laughs> and, uh, do them at a normal, uh, decent hour. What's up, L Rhodes? How you doing, buddy? Uh, the first bail, the best first bail scene today was, uh, I think it was Surin or Silas or it was 135. Whoever it was, it was 135 was the best so far during the scrims tonight. It was one of those guys, I believe. <laughs> Understandable. Sounds like, well, so uh, we are gonna be moving soon. We're hoping to be able to buy our first house. Um, it was never gonna happen where we live now because the average ho housing price is, I don't even wanna say what it is because it's ridiculous. Um, much more affordable where we're moving to the suburbs of Chicago. So we're looking at owning our first home, if not right away soon after moving there. Um, and with that, we'll be able to have more space. But also I should be able to stream from the office most of the time. Uh, hoping that the internet behaves itself. We won't know until I can get there and test it out. Um, but nonetheless, either way, I'm gonna have a better stream space. If you've ever created any content, you know that you make do with the, the space and the funds that you have, the equipment that you have. You just make do, right? That's what you have to do. Um, so for now, just, you know, always gonna do the best I can. That's all you can do. That was the best advice Chalky gave me when I took this job, by the way. I hope he's enjoying uh, his Good Friday holiday off. But yeah, Chalky was a huge help to me joining the company, and he said that to me. He was like, you know what? You can only do your best. It sounds like simple advice, but it's really great advice. It's the 16th for you guys. Yeah, fair. Okay. Okay. <laughs> fair reason for wanting the FSL to grow. Hey, I think so too, Hendrik. I think so too. <laughs> it's not the only reason I want to see it grow, but I do like sleeping, especially like, you know, on the weekends. 
I like sleeping in. But again, if you love something, you'll sacrifice for it. So as much as like I, sh I uh, suffer, usually the next day after waking up at 1 a.m. to do the tournaments, because yeah, the tournaments start at 2 a.m. my time. I will gain an hour when I move. There's that, it's not gonna be as bad. Um, but I have to be like on earlier to do like a sound check, just kind of get the rundown of how things are gonna go, get any kind of like news about the day before, etc. So yeah, it's, it's an interesting time. All right, Taz, be safe, buddy. But yeah, we're looking at having more space when we move, which will be nice. Um, I'm a big board game player too, so having like a combination video game, board room, or board game uh, room, maybe even like some space to build some Legos and display them, that would be amazing. But we don't know what we're gonna get yet, right? Even like we're moving in August, it's still too early to be looking at houses right now. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Hello, Chantel. How you doing? Good to see you. It's been a bit since I got to hang out in one of your streams. Hope you've been doing well. Yeah, Nerd Den for the win. That's what I'd rather call it that than the Man Cave anyways, because um, Man Cave gives off the sense of you want to escape from your wife. I like being around my wife. I'm lucky, I guess. So she likes playing video games and board games with me. She likes Legos as well. So Nerd Den is a much better term like Wheezy. I'm gonna start using that. I like it. <laughs> a tennis court? I don't know if it'll be that big. <laughs> Tornado. Maybe table tennis, but that's not really my thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. Right, Daddy-O? I really did get a good one. And Mrs. Kerm. This is a close game. Three minutes to go. 361 to 361. Uh, I've not been, I've been neglecting uh, actually telling you guys about the action here. We've just been having a good time with the conversation, but that's all right. Um, so right now we're looking at the red team's bar and we have the ghost mode on so we can see the blue team. If I hit space bar, it'll switch it the other way around. So it even looks pretty close in terms of bales that are sitting here. The blue team now in a slight lead. Uh, same team perk, pretty similar equipment and player perks. The multiplier is at two times for each team. The blue team has the advantage in bales right now though. They have the lead by 40 points and they also have four more bales at the moment. <laughs> right, Lag? You're, you're right. That's a good way to put it. Man Cave has way too much. I never grew up. LOL, LOL, toxic wife is a ball and chain, stink to it. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Um, I, I did get lucky. Just like I'm lucky with this job, I got lucky in uh, my love life too. <laughs> Mrs. Kerm's great. She's like in the same room actually. Again, you make do with what you have. We have a one bedroom apartment for now. She's, she's hidden by the green screen. Uh, she is camera shy where I like being in front of the camera. So uh, don't ask to see her because she won't. <laughs> She's not about that life, but she's over there on her Switch right now on the TV in the same room. She's playing Cat Tales too. Cat Quest. Cat Quest too. That's the one. And she's having a blast. One minute, 20 seconds, 461 to 441. The bail count is closer now, but again, 20 point lead and a one bail advantage for the blue team. All right, NBC just scored one. Oh, the red team's actually gone into the lead here. 471. Oh, we have, uh, we've had an oops. What's happened here? Oh, um, that's not ideal. Um, yeah, I'm not sure there's any saving that. And there's some points on there for the blue team. That could swing it back in the red team's favor. That's a few points stuck in the moat at the moment. The blue team is in the lead. This is going to be a fun one. 30 seconds to go. 30-point uh, lead for the blue team. That's good news for them. Uh, the red team is having to resign, though, to putting their bales into the bottom here, which isn't great. Uh, and the blue team are, have just scored three more from the top, so that'll probably pretty much seal it 
for the blue team. Red team just had to bring them in too late to put them up onto the belt. Uh, Silas trying to ride up the conveyor belt ends up falling off. Uh, and it's a 20 point win for the blue team. So that was a really close one. Wow, that was great. That was a lot of fun. It looks like someone got confused and started playing SnowRunner. <laughs> Shucks Chuck on Twitch, that's a, that's a good one. Well done. Uh, yeah, so the red team actually delivered three more bales, but um, they had three less delivered via the top. So that's the difference there. They missed out. Like if they had just gotten, what, two more of those they put into the bottom end of the top, then it would have been a tie score and it would have come down to the tiebreakers at that point. So uh, even three more into the top would have won them the game. But hey, that was a great game. Closest one of the night for sure. It was a blast to watch. And uh, it, was, it was a great conversation too. It was a blast. Green screen confirmed, yep. Okay, so good stuff. GG's guys, that was fun. GG's. All right, everyone ready? Terminator, don't ask. Don't ask. Just yeah. Don't ask. <laughs> okay, I won't ask. <laughs> I won't. I, 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 Good night, Good night. In English, Good night. please, Silas. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Have a nice. good night. Oh, well, that means uh, is someone else leaving, sir? To play. Are you that saying? That means come in, come in. <laughs> yep, it looks like uh, you guys and everyone in chat are going to get uh, their wishes uh, come true yes. here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, let's see here. I get to play. You, you got to be on host. Thanks, with, Chantel. You play with Master Dad and Newbie, and we'll go against you guys. <laughs> Uh, how about, how about we split up the actual previous pros here? Uh, <laughs> nice try, Donner. Um, I tried. How about uh, we go Donner, NBC, and myself, and Newbie, Surin, and Matza. Let's yes. do okay. that. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. All right. So, everyone watching the stream, you're going to see the perspective of a player now, and uh, not a very good one. Uh, please keep in mind. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, you'll get to see something different here. <laughs> Curbs captain. <laughs> oh, that's even worse. You guys, you guys want to lose? <laughs> I mean, hey, remember what you told Don or Kyle? It's what we get to see from this side. <laughs> okay, well, you guys better tell me what to do, or we're gonna have like twelve points left on the board and uh, be in a bad spot here. <laughs> if you give me enough bales, the servers are running quite nice right now. So if you if, if you give me enough bales, we'll get it done one way or the other. What kind of strategy do you want to go with? I can do stacking. I don't care. We can go with, uh, let's try uh, bottleneck. Okay. Bottleneck. Or you want to try o overhaul because nobody's seen it tonight. Yeah. Whatever. You guys right. tell me what to do. Yeah. We'll do overhaul. Stack. Let's do big haul. We'll get Donner, um, okay. we'll get Donner Kyle stacking and I'll do some bailing. Okay. Sure. I'll harvest and uh, anything else that needs to be done then. And make a fool of myself okay. trying to drive the big trailer around potentially. And <laughs> Just don't jackknife it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll try. No problem. Don't put it in the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Well, I hope I don't get anywhere near the water with that. If I'm going that direction, there is really something wrong with me. Um, should we even ban so, anything? What do you guys want to nah. do here? Nah. So I'll pick a harvester. You want to do first build master, Dad? Yep. Okay. I'll, I'll see if I can pick a harvester. And Kerm, you're going to want to pick a baler. Master Dad's also going to get, get a harvester if I'm correct. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna try. To Do I that. want? Uh, I want to get Archimedes probably as my player perk. Or no? Yeah. Okay. What? I don't have uh, the calculations in my head right now, so. Me either. 
I mean, I'm, that's what I'm like the worst at. So, um, so we need to, what, what, uh, baler should I reserve or are we even re going to reserve that stuff? Uh, you can reserve a baler. So at least we have it. You can either do, uh, the John Deere or the new Holland. Okay. And it should and still the be ideal, enough, uh, the ideal yeah. harvester as well. Yeah. As long okay. As I have there's two points. Okay. You need two points. Unstoppable, watched out. Oh yeah, don't go over 2.4, Kerm. Okay. <laughs> so I'll, I'll try. What, what should I pick here? Archimedes is one point. Uh, I wouldn't do Archimedes because it's going to make no. you dump quicker. So okay. just pick a tractor. Just pick the Puma. I yeah. picked the Lendner, Lend track because okay. I was running out of time and I didn't want to become Kerm with the forklift again. How many points do you need, Donner <laughs> Kyle? Two, right? Two. Two. All right, so that'll work out good. I'll take under pressure in the Puma. Oh, <laughs> like that's a good point. Oh, he's got one. Oh, point wow. Left. It's got one point, man. Oh, oh, no, that didn't work out. Welp. <laughs> Rip. If uh, you can have this tractor once I hop in the harvester. Yeah, I got to use my Fiat to try and get a harvester, though. <laughs> Yeah, well, well unless you guys want to swap tractors up top and he goes right to the ideal. Oh, yeah, we can do that here. I didn't even realize you could do that because I've never thought about it before. So this Fiat, uh, for those of you watching, goes faster in reverse. So this is some fun for the viewers at home. We'll try and go for that New Holland. Yep. I'm going straight go to the ideal. ideal we reserved, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Got the new all in safe, so. New all in safe. NBC, you want to do that first bail, you said? Yep. All right, I'm harvesting already. Okay, I'm coming that way. I just grabbed another okay. all in. Kerm, yep. you're going to want to start in the big field. Yep. Clear a path to um, the grain cart or just start? Don't need to. Oh, yeah, right. We got the big haul. You should have enough right there for the first bill. Yep. Um, so, Chad, I'll be, like, interacting with you guys even uh, less than normal. So, apologies for that. I'll do what I can. I'll try to interact as much as I can without letting my teammates down massively. <laughs> So you're gonna have to unload us then for the first round. <laughs> yeah. Why am I getting hiccups? We've got 117 by first for our first bail points. Good job, NBC. 112 for the blue team. Trying to cut like near the barn. You gotta first. grab that horse. Grab the horse or the big haul. Yeah. Or whatever, I don't care. I'm already at 11,000. Yeah, I'm All at right, 10, 5. Horse. And you wanna get that big haul? Yep. to being full too here. On my way. I'll try to cut like a path towards where Donner is. Uh, um, best thing to do with that MEC is turn it right around when you get up here. Yep. Anxiously waiting <laughs> He's zooming. We got bail drop and direct delivery. I uh, don't need any of those. So. 
Watch yourself take right care. I'm gonna go get my tractor. Start bailing. Yep, do that. Yep. Cool. You can drop me drop me about uh three to four bales. Okay, we'll do. An even vet better view of those weed patches. Yeah, you guys have like the first, the, it's not quite first person, but seeing me play and harvest is a great way to see it for sure. What's up, Mar Bear? Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Come on, I'm loading faster. You guys want one of those perks? Eh, what's the point? You got I mean, six seconds delivery, left anyways. About to go back. Yeah, it's not worth it. You're not going to get there. Okay. How much is that big haul hold again? NBC, do you got that? 59,000. 59,000. That's 31,006 in there now. I'm going to try and finish off this small field and then at least till it's almost full or full. Roger okay. that. It's a yeah, habit that I can't break in myself that I want to try to use cruise control whenever I start back with like the harvester. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Likewise. I still do it. Even though you can't use it in the FSL, it's like just ingrained into my brain from farming simulator. Drop a maximum of four, yeah. Okay. So we only got one stacker. <laughs> At least we got one. Last week we didn't have like any in one of the games I played because I messed up. Yeah, the mini map is great, and I always forget about it. Like even as a caster, I, I remember it as a caster, but like as a player. Gotta come to your field. Look. Oh, cool. Go ahead. You can drive next to me or around me. Yeah, I'm trying to go <laughs> back that way so I don't go too far from the barn now. Exactly. But we've already like I've already gotten a lot of it. There's some patches that aren't what, covered in weeds. What did you say? Fifty-nine thousand NBC. Yes. Yeah. All right, we're almost there. So. All right, I'm gonna finish this pass, and then you're gonna finish the rest, Graham. Okay. Roger that. All right, I'm done. Probably wasn't the smartest way to go, but I'm trying not to be too far from the barn. Let's cut this over here. Away from the weeds. Where are those bales you dropped? On the small field or the big field? Small field, all four of them. Okay. Nice. Alright, there's way. 59. Oh no. Gonna slow me down. Get out of here. Want me to take the big haul when I get back, get over here and get it all unloaded now? Yep, just yep. remember you don't have, go over 2.3. 2.4 shuts it down. Don't go yep. over 2.3. Okay, see, I thought it was 2.4. You didn't want to go over. No, crazy so tool. And what? Uh, What's that crazy tool and what? Where is it uh, behind me? I can't yeah. see it. It's by crazy the side tool of and bridges raised. Oh. Dumping on the ground because I'm not paying attention. Bad current. Should I? Uh, uh, that would slow me down. I don't know if I'll get there in time. I've got 23 seconds. This is still got. No, don't worry about it. If you don't get it, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm not gonna get there.
Why does our grain like seem like it's stuck even though it's still coming out of the glitch? I do. It's not counting up. Yep. It's definitely That's filling the trailer right. up though. Right. Uh oh. Weird. Okay, here I go. Alright. So 2.3 maximum. Yep. yep. I'm going to grab that last bale and then I'll be ready. Okay. Oh, and I jackknifed it. But I, re I recovered, don't worry. <laughs> I realized I was going too fast at like just the right time. Hey, Rabbit Man, how you doing? I, I was just providing some entertainment for the viewers watching. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. I was just going to say something about that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, crap, that bridge is going up. Okay. Two, three. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's so hard to, like, get it. Okay, there we go. Good. Leave it here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Now what now do you want me to do? Back to the harvester? Massively slow. Is there what do you want him to do, NBC? Uh, at this point, uh, uh, I don't know. Can I <laughs> grab a... Grant, well, actually, a baler with the fiat? you Something. might be able to do the John, uh, the John Deere baler if it's out there. With okay. the fiat, yeah, he'll be able to. Um, I just don't. I didn't see it on the pedestal. Might be up in the top corner. Oh, okay. is that the John Deere right there? No, that's the fence. Okay, I'll uh, I'll have a look around. I'm at the fiat down. Yeah, that's the fence. That's the uh, corona. And this is the coon or the case up here, I think. So I don't think the John Deere is here. You might be able to do it with the coon. Everybody in bills to my right, please. Okay. Yeah, I don't see the John Deere, so it's going to have to be this one. It's the coon or the John Deere. You can take both with. Oh wait, yeah. the coon's actually locked out, so never mind. It's locked. Well, I'll go for Lord Baylor for two bales if I can get there. Sure. I'll try to make myself useful. It's not super close though, so I might get beaten to it. Alright, well, yeah, there's not much I can do, really, because there's no baler that won't be, like, absolutely sluggish. Well, even if you can get one or two in there... I mean, I guess be sluggish better is none. better than nothing, right? So I guess yeah, I'll grab the Yeah, at this point. Impressive, nice. There we yes. go. 563, we're in the lead with 250 to go. Nice. I'll try to just bring these in as well on the back. It's probably best, huh? At this point. Yep. If I can get some. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, this is. <laughs> I'm not sure I can even get one. Oh, dear. I think I can. I think I can. I think <laughs> yeah, I can. Yeah, it's not a fast process. <laughs> I think I can. Oh. Oh, oh there's the 116 liters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got two minutes. You might get one. <laughs> if I get one in with this and it somehow wins this the game, I'm just never going to play again. Ah, come on. Until I'm next kidding. round when we don't have Until enough Until next round when I have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god, this is like, it's like slowed completely to a crawl trying to make this turn. That's a known problem with the Fiat. Oh goodness. All right, I'm I'm just gonna go in a straight line here. Let's let's turn that off. Let's get on this straight line here. Oh, a tie game now with 120 to go. On your way, NBC. Take a yeah. side. Oh, I'll go right goodness. side. <clears throat> that seems to be like the best thing to do. Like turn it off, back on. It like scoots you forward. Yeah, Whoop. there we go. Look at that. Sorry about that. I lagged a little bit. Yeah. A little bit Where there's a will, forward. there's a way. I'm <laughs> just spamming turning it on and off, and it's working. I'm moving a lot. Hey, that's not allowed. Well, it's bug happening. <laughs> that's bug using. I've got one. I'm coming in with it. Probably put that down below, considering I feed the hamsters more cheese. <laughs> uh... Down below. Yeah, yeah. Got you. I'm right behind you, Kerm, so don't miss. <laughs> no, I'll try not to. No, no pressure. <laughs> I missed, but you can push Aww. that in. You can you can push that in. Yeah, with the assist, NBC. I missed my. I got yours and I missed my two. <laughs> Stick your legs out and push. <laughs> oh, considering we were like short, if we had not been short that one point, I think we could have competed for the win there. That was pretty good. <laughs> Still a pretty good score for both teams. Yeah. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh man, that was that was good times, good times. Same team uh, as another round or what? Yeah, I'm gonna pop up to the blue channel and see if they just want to stick with the same, and we'll just go again. Okay. I just have to use the restroom real quick. Cool. Uh, same teams, we go again. Oh, they have left now. <laughs> same same teams, we go again. You guys good? Uh, um, yeah, I. It's a bit late for me, so I think I need to, to bed. Uh, leave you alone and, and uh, go to bed, yeah. Fair enough. All right, Sirin, thanks for being here and staying up late. Hope you have a good night. Yeah, good night. Maybe, see maybe we see uh, next Friday, yeah, maybe. Cool. Hope so. <laughs> see you then. Have a good weekend. Yeah, thanks. Well, then I say what we do is uh, 2v2, Matza and uh newbie and or i can put yep. newbie with uh nbc if you prefer or whatever um but yeah just let's, let's keep it the same donner kyle just stepped away to use the restroom real quick um so we'll do 2v2 and i'll go back to casting since we're short if there's anyone else there in uh in chat who would like to join us uh you're welcome to all you need is a uh, fs19 on pc and then follow the instructions that are being put into chat, sign up on the FSL website, download and install the DLC. Once you register on the FSL website, you can log into your account. You'll get a key for the game. You click on the download portal link, you insert the key, download it. If you have FS19 installed on your PC, it'll install the FSL arena on top of that current installation. Then once you've done that, join the uh, Discord link there for the Farming Simulator League Scrims Discord uh, and join the waiting room as well all right so uh Surin had to go to bed so we're gonna do 2v2 you and donner okay. versus matza and newbie sounds good and uh, unless anyone shows up that's how we'll proceed so good luck sounds um, like a plan thank you just What's uh up? oh donner's back we're doing 2v2 because Surin had to go to bed so it'll be you and mm -hmm. nbc versus matza and newbie okay and you're gonna come to okay Yep. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Just because it's fair, you know, I don't want to have the team, you know, I don't know if it's an advantage to have me as your third player. Uh, it might be a disadvantage, <laughs> but <laughs> either way, it's an advantage for some team. Uh, all right, have fun, all right. guys.
Um, do I know if it works on Mac? Uh, that's a very good question. I don't know the answer for that for sure, but it does work on any like installation of FS19. So um, that's like a PC version. I don't know if it works on the Mac version, um, but give it a try. I wish I knew that answer, Alex, for sure. Um, yeah, like we get that a bit. Um, you know, a lot of people that really love Seasons are missing the some of the features that were there previously in the mod. Um, Jay, join the Discord and help us convince Giants to add more features to Seasons like Grass Rot and Grazing Animals. I'm not playing Farming Simulator 22 because the Farming Simulator League is currently still Farm Sim 19 only, Frank Tank 86 on Twitch. Okay. Oh, um. Is it gonna let yes, you? Yes, I um, train push S tag ET control C. I wait right. for you. Con oh, perfect. perfect. I'm in. I'm in now. So okay. you should be good. Cool. So. Okay. No, you're not a weirdo. Like, I mean, people like to play the way they like, and I get it. Um, you know, hopefully, I know like uh, Realismus modding who. Um, did the seasons mod previously and then of course giants hired yas from the rm team he worked for us he was um a big part of getting seasons implemented into the base game he is uh no longer with the company he's gone on to uh greener pastures or however you want to put it not really uh i love i love giants but he's gone on to new things basically um i had to use the farm pun though uh so he's no longer with us but the rest of the RM guys, like they said that they were really busy with like personal stuff. So we may not see some sort of like improvements to the seasons from them, but maybe some other mod group or modder out there will do it. I don't think that it'll like, it's not, I think it'll happen at some point. I don't think it's impossible, but I also don't understand modding at all. Um, but I know people love that sort of thing. So it's definitely something that's been requested a lot. So we'll see. Um, It's all good, Marbear. So yeah, this is 2v2. We got Matza, Newbie against Donner and NBC. Uh, blue team's gone with Herbicide. Red team's gone with Unstoppable. Herbicide removes all weeds from the blue team's fields. Uh, Unstoppable, 30% faster conveyor belt for the red team, 30% slower for the blue team. They also need to watch that multiplier so they don't lock their belt down. Um, and we'll see how this goes. Ideal reserve for both teams. Uh, the case and the new Holland Baylor's reserve. There's more points on the board available to choose from here now because we're missing that third player from each team. Um, so, yep, the the non-existent player has gone with the forklift, the Manny Two uh, MC18-4. We've got a Vulture S374, Massey 7726, a new Holland T6.175, and uh, the case as well. All right, here we go. Uh, this might be the last one of the night. Um, if we don't get more players in, we will see how it goes. Normally we would go for like another 45 minutes, uh, which would probably be enough to do like one more round, even though they're 15 minutes a piece. Um, but I might call it, I might call it uh, short for the night because it's been a great night. We've had a consistent stream of players uh, I only had to join in in that last one. Um, but if you're in North America, you're watching this and it's evening time for you, or if you're a night owl and you're still up wherever you are in the world, I would encourage you, if you want to give it a try, even if you never have any uh, experience, or uh, not experience, but if, even if you don't have any desire to ever compete in an official tournament, I still think that the FSL is an absolutely uh, fun time to play. It's great to play with friends. Maybe you'll meet new friends like some of these guys have. Um, like, what, 10 months ago? Maybe more like nine? 
I started doing these scrim streams and NBC and Donner Kyle now know each other and, and, and are friends. Same with Matza and NBC. Like Matza uh, on the blue team and NBC on the red team are constantly doing their own like scrimmages together. Um, and Matza now part of Team Astragon. They have a sponsored team this year. SGA is going to be competing for the first time in Season 4 since it's online only. Um, so it's a great place to meet other people that love Farming Simulator. And uh, you can switch it up a little bit and try something different in Farm Sim. So even if you can't get it downloaded and play tonight, we'll be doing these a lot on Friday nights. Um, I should be back next week. That's kind of up in the air because I want to make sure. I'm not really sure what's going to go on with the beta. So we're on the beta client for Season 4 right now of the FSL. Um, and that the beta ends today. Um, so you might still be able to access it, but at some point there's going to be like a new version coming out. So I'm not sure what's going to happen there, but I am planning to be live a week from today on Friday. Um, same time. And I encourage you to give it a try. We always need more players. Um, real life, uh, have a great night. SR games. Real life does a good job of eating things, especially the past couple of years, right? Uh, would we have to join voice chat? Um, yes. Um, that's how we get people into the lobby. But Alex, if you have like a legitimate reason for why you would not want to do that, uh, as Matza has had a lag spike clearly <laughs> and uh, has taken a sharp left turn and he's ended up in the water. Um, but Alex, feel free to like send me a message. You can find me through the official Farming Simulator Discord if you have like a good reason for why you uh, can't be in voice chat. If it's just not having a mic, like um, then yeah, I'm not so sure. But you know, I'm always willing to talk to people because uh, there's always you know it's always worth listening to people. Um, what's up, KW? Good to see you, buddy. Do we have to have the base game installed? Yep, you have to have FS19 installed on your computer to play. Um, but yeah, I think voice chat is really important for communicating for the match. So I would say it's pretty required. But again, I'm willing to be flexible. Uh, I'm a big advocate for things being as um, accessible as possible. So if you have a reason for this, feel free to let me know. Um, because, for example... I was reached out to by a fan of our games who is deaf and he asked if we could enable subtitles for like our podcasts and community spotlight streams because he was missing out on Twitch. Um, and now that we do like multi-streaming on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube, YouTube should have like the auto captions enabled. It's not perfect um, because it's using voice recognition to pick up what I'm saying, but at least that allows people to be able to participate as well so not really a good reason i just don't like my voice well the good news is if you're new uh, alex that you can talk just as least a bit as possible right like for me i'm not the best player so when i'm with the other guys like if you were just watching the last game i'm like just tell me what to do guys um and then i was of course talking to you guys in chat i like i guess i like the sound of my voice i'm weird um but yeah i've always enjoyed talking in front of people it's never bothered me but yeah, you don't have to talk a whole lot. Just get in, learn how to play, and maybe you'll start to open up to people and you'll talk more. But all you have to do at the beginning is just be like, tell me what to do, guys. Um, usually uh, for like new time players, you'll start out like doing the harvesting, just like regular farm sim. That's almost always the first thing that people do when they first start playing Farming Simulator. Um, and it's the same in the FSL. What's up, Jules? You hate Facebook, but you think they have one of the best auto captioners. You know what? I need to look at enabling it on Facebook if it's not already. Uh, for me, like Facebook is like the the platform that I have the least amount of experience with, right? Um, I've streamed on Twitch quite a bit. Um, Twitch, like I streamed on Mixer more back in the day, as you know, Jules. But Twitch and Mixer were pretty similar, at least in how they operate. YouTube, of course, is a little bit different, but I had experience there. But Facebook is like brand new to me still. I'm still trying to figure out all of the differences and all the setups. All right, so 78 to zero is the score at the moment. 
Uh, we've got uh, seven bales to five for the red team. So someone brought up a good point uh, this way. <laughs> my hand's cutting off. But yeah, this way that my arm is cut off, that direction in the bottom left corner of your screen is the mini map. That gives you the information on amount of grain that each team has, the amount of bales that they have, and their current combo streak as well. And then the map itself, you can see like the pot area, that like stretch of like six spots. You can see like what's marked out, uh, what's been claimed by that team and what's still out there available. And you can see like the player icons with the arrows as well. And then you can see where these drops are about to appear on the mini map. <laughs> Bridges lowered and speed limit. Are our drops? Bridges lowered picked up by the red team. I really doubt the blue team goes for this. There's no one in the area. Okay. So we've got Donner Kyle in the New Holland. This is a uh, virtual farmer's favorite tractor in the FSL right here. He always gets bummed out when teams ban it during the official broadcasts. NBC is bailing with the case and the case. Look at that. If you're a case fan, there's the ad shot for you. Donner Kyle now with the New Holland at the barn. Looks like he might uh, start to... They've got a 3-1 to one multiplier at the moment. So this would be 30 points per bale put into the top. He's going to get slightly more for this first one because of the first bale points. They've not yet scored a first bale. So let's see what it is. So 60. This next one now will be 30. Looks like Newbie is at the blue team silo about to deliver some grain. So... Let's see how many of these they'll score at 30. There's another one. But will this one get up there in time? No, it will not. It's going to be 27, 26 by the time it went in. Matza's at the blue team barn with some bales. And 2-1 to one in the favor of the blue team, just in time. Matza going for uh, 21 points per bale here. They're... Now, since the red team has unstoppable, the blue team's conveyor belt is 30% slower. So look at this slow crawl of the bales going up the belt. daddy what are you doing in the loft? Get out of there. <laughs> we should put, like, we should put some Easter eggs in here. There's actually, like, a, um, there's, like, a little barn back here, too that you, ne you guys never see. I'm giving you behind the scenes tour of the FSL arena here. I was napping. All right, 211 to 120, five minutes to go. Yeah, look at how much faster the red team's belt is. Like, if we, the blue team aren't putting any on now, but watch how much faster this is. This is the beauty of the unstoppable perk. So nice. Okay, so 40 seconds away from the super drop. Bottom boost could be huge for the blue team to get back into this. I think that, uh, yeah. There's no rescuing this baler, so they they pretty much just left it there. It would it would, you would waste more time trying to get it back. Might as well just go grab a different baler, which is what Mats has done. He's gone with the new Holland. The new Holland and the case balers are pretty similar in the FSL. Uh, Mats are now going to put some on the belt. That one went flying. Our super drop is about to appear in one of these two locations. 
and we've got multiplier switch. So this does exactly what it sounds like. It flips your opponent's multiplier to your side. So for the red team, they could go for it and they would have 2.1 to 1.9, but it only lasts for 15 seconds. So you have to be ready to score when you pick it up. And they've already scored all of their bales except for what NBC's bringing in. We've had a counter meanwhile by the blue team, but the red team are in enough of a lead here that multiplier switch is not worth going for, for 15 seconds. Um, so that is uh, not the best super drop, I would say, at this point of the game. Three sixty-three to one ninety-two is our score. Three minutes to go. The super drop is going to expire without either team going for it. No surprise. So NBC's back out, pressing more bales. Donner Kyle's coming out to gather them. They do only have the one loader, but NBC can bring some in on the back. Uh, in the last round, you were able to hear the voice chat, and with three of us, because we only had one loader, because we ran one point shy of being able to have another one, so we were stuck with the Fiat, which is uh, free to pick. Uh, Donner told us, told NBC, who was bailing, to leave a maximum of four on the field. Now it almost looks like a maximum of two at this point. So he's brought the other two in. And he's left two for Donner Kyle to pick up. Meanwhile, Matza is putting some up onto the belt. Three in a row about to go. They could. Let's have a look at the. Here comes Donner now. So they they were close to a multiplier or a combo rather, but how slow that belt is going, it's probably not going to happen. Um, yeah, because Donner is going to. That one's going to beat maybe even both of those. Yeah, they, they went in at the same time, so that count cancels out the combo counter. Pretty close for the blue team. That would have been that would have been fifty bonus points. It would have brought them closer. It's actually closer in the end than I thought it was gonna be. Four twenty now to three eighty one, red team in the lead. Okay. Let's have a look at the blue team. I'm going to turn the ghost mode on so we can kind of see what both teams are doing. So blue team has more bales at the barn at the moment. So uh, 21, 40, that'd be 42 extra points. They could flip this around in the last minute. Here comes NBC now with three more, though, for the red team. Their belt is going a lot faster. So for the blue team to be able to win, they have to get all of these into the top, and they're running short of time to do that with how slow their belt's going. Uh, and unfortunately for them now as well, Donner Kyle's about to match them. Like, look now with the ghost mode on how much faster the red team's belt is compared to the blue. It's crazy. 33-point lead for the red team. I mean, the blue team has three more bales, but one of them is missing from here, from the uh, barn area here. And there's not enough time now for Matsu to get that one in via the belt with how slow the belt's going. He's having a hard time even uh, grabbing that one. He's gonna have to put it into the bottom. Uh, misses the mark, he gets it just at the end, but it wasn't quite enough. So the red team wins. Let's see what our final score was. Okay. 506 to 475, 24 bales to 19, 23 in via the top for the red team. Three undelivered for blue, one undelivered for the red team. Uh, pretty close on grain, delivered grain with multiplier, Red uh, blue team had better, but yeah, the red team came out on top. They had the bale drop and the bridges lowered drops. Okay. That was fun. All right. Um, I think I may just call it 30 minutes early today. Um, since right. it's, Don't worry about it's that. down to four, yeah. uh, 
for only. Um, so thanks, guys. Uh, much appreciated. Okay. Newbie, oh, I hope you. you had fun. We uh, love back again. Can, uh, always love when I can come over here on Giants and uh, do these scrims. I know. Uh, I have a blast when you guys are around, too. So uh, it's always nice having you all here. So thanks. And, yeah, we should be back next Friday. Uh, I was telling the people watching the stream, I'm not sure like what's going to happen now that like today's supposed to be the last day for the beta, but I don't think it's like it's going to be taken down or anything. Um, okay, because we already downloaded it. I was going to say yeah, everybody's already right. downloaded it. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like I don't know what it means that it ended today, um, but maybe next week we'll have like the new version of the client or I don't know. Um, I don't think it will be not. out next week already. Yeah, I hope. We'll see. Um, <laughs> But with everyone on like holiday, uh, it's hard to predict. Um, you know, they'll be back on Tuesday. We've got a big day for Farming Simulator 22 on Tuesday, of course, with precision farming dropping, um, oh, plus yeah. 1.4 patch true. and the next free content update. Um, but hopefully, either way, we'll have scrims next week. Just pay attention to the, like the the Discord servers and such, and uh, I'll I'll make sure to announce anything as soon as I know it, one way or the other. Um, Definitely. But yeah, thanks guys. I hope you have a great weekend and uh, I'll talk to you all soon. I appreciate all right, you. Too. Night everybody. Bye night. guys. Bye bye. All right, uh, everyone in stream. Yeah, that that's pretty much it. It was a great time. I'm going to try to catch up on any chat that I missed. Uh, Rumble on YouTube said thanks Kerm. Alex as well on YouTube said thanks Kerm. See you later. Hendrick on YouTube. This might be my new favorite sport to watch. Hendrick, I'm glad you got to hang out tonight, buddy. Um it is a great time. Maybe we'll uh, convince you to play one day um, as well. So, yeah. A big day coming up for Giants on Tuesday. Uh, I'm going now. I'm going to enjoy my weekend. Um, most of my colleagues will be back on Tuesday. Myself and Nicholas from the U.S. office will be back on Monday. Uh, and then Tuesday, Precision Farming for Farming Simulator 22 drops. So that's going to be awesome. Um, I'm really excited for Precision Farming for 22. I think people are going to love it. I loved it in 19. I know a lot of people did. I think it had over 1 million downloads for 19. Um, in 22, it's what you were used to in 19, but more depth, more layers of depth added in there, more tasks for you to do on the farm. And I know a lot of you are always looking for more to do. So... Thanks for everything. I hope you all have a great uh, weekend. And if you're celebrating the holiday, have a nice holiday with your family. Um, yeah. But I'll see you then, all right? Keep being awesome. Have a fantastic weekend. We'll catch you on the flip side.